And that is how the, the Nigerian is. government has placed a travel restriction from COVID-19 hotspots in order to help cope the further spread of the coronavirus pandemic. But the move has taken a big toll on local businesses as businessmen battle to stay in business. Details of that in this report. Ezekiel Bok is a travel consultant for Nigerians seeking medical care in India. It's a popular destination for medical tourism among Nigerians, especially the wealthy. But since the government placed restrictions on travel, Ezekiel has been battling to stay in business. The suspension of the flight has stopped people um, even making effort to travel. They won't even come for inquiry of anything, not to talk of traveling. So it has really affected us generally. Economically, there's no income for business people. And then even for the uh, sick people, they, 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 they cannot do, go uh, travel for their treatment. It affects their health. It may lead to death. Ezekiel's experience is just one of many whose businesses are affected by the travel ban. The International Air Transport Association says travel restrictions put in place to counter COVID-19 have caused major economic losses. Nigerians trade with almost every country in the world, and especially countries like China, India, Turkey. This ban, especially for India and Turkey particularly, it will have very grave effects on us as individuals. The pandemic has put pressure on Nigeria's economy. The World Bank attributes 42% of overall job losses in Nigeria between 2020 and 2021 to the outbreak of the coronavirus disease in the country. The government says it has earmarked nearly $200 million to support businesses impacted by the coronavirus disease. The Trade and Investment Ministry says close to a million people are expected to benefit from the credit support. Economic analysts say that doesn't go far enough. The government needs to give incentive, further incentive to local businesses that can replicate the kind of goods and services we get from outside the country, especially these countries where the ban has been placed, and try to encourage them if we cannot give them additional resources. Ezekiel hopes he will be able to obtain a grant from the government. He says that will help him remain in business. Until then, uncertainty hangs over him.